Evening, the country is honoring the life and legacy of former President George Herbert Walker Bush. President Bush will lie in state in the Capitol Rotunda until Wednesday. Then, a motorcade will transport the casket through Washington to the National Cathedral for a state funeral. The 41st president visited Kelloland several times and made plenty of friends. Kelloland's Brady Mallory shows us one of those connections. President George H.W. Bush and First Lady Barbara Bush made several stops in South Dakota in the 80s and early 90s, including this one in Humboldt. And mine is to look forward, to open new markets to American exports, to prepare our workforce to compete, to keep the social fabric of this country strong, and to save and invest in those things that will help us win. Former chairman of the South Dakota Republican Party, Joel Rosenthal, got to know Bush. In the best way possible, he says, it didn't feel like he was spending time with a president. It felt like a, you do with, I, I think, with an old shoe, is that it was just a, a real good comfort level there, and um, uh, you, you couldn't help but like him. Rosenthal says his interactions with number 41 were brief, but says the Bushes, seemed to like the Rushmore state. He was really here a lot. And uh, uh, so we all got to know him. And, uh, but, he, but he asked me how the farm economy was, how the bird hunting was. When it came to politics, Rosenthal says Bush's approach was much different than what the country sees now. People would, should look up to him because he was a patriot. He put country above self. That memory of President George H.W. Bush is what Rosenthal says made the man presidential. He was so honorable. He was so honorable. He stepped up and, and uh, loved America. And now Americans are showing their love for him. Brady Mallory, Kelloland News. Rosenthal says that he once saw a photo of Bush's grandchildren sitting on the White House lawn and one of them was wearing a T-shirt from South Dakota. A state funeral for former President Bush will be held Wednesday, which President Trump has declared a national day of mourning. This means that all the federal buildings, including post offices, will be closed. CBS News plans to break in with a special report Wednesday morning to cover the departure ceremony and funeral. After the ceremony, the former president will be taken to Andrews Air Force Base and flown to his home state of Texas. A private funeral service will be held Thursday morning in Houston. His remains will then be taken by train to College Station, Texas, where he'll be laid to rest at the George Bush Presidential Library and Museum. We have set up a special page on Kelloland.com honoring the 41st President of the United States. There is a timeline of his life and the latest stories from Texas and our nation's capital and even here in Kelloland.